Welcome everybody. Today I'm having an unboxing of the Zyber Neck Power Bank. They sent me these products for free uh, just to test out and try out and uh, see how I like them and talk about them here. So this is going to be an unboxing video. If you want to see my full detailed kind of review and overview of this product to see how I like it, how it works, I'm leaving a link in the description down below. This is just an unboxing, so we're going to slowly get into that as we uh, get in it. We turn this around, we see uh, their social and uh, looks like their support, if you need any support there. This is how the product looks and uh, it should just easily connect to the Quest 3 to give you some extra power. So again, we'll talk a little bit more about this. It looks like it's upside down actually. We'll talk more about this in the upcoming review and uh, so this is the product. I want to take it out right off the bat, but we're going to take a look here really quick. We're, we're going to be patient. We have a little user manual here, uh, which we can flip through and uh, see what's going on. It looks like we have a charging cable, a little Velcro tie, and the battery uh, pack itself. It kind of goes through information regarding the different stages of battery life, um, things like that, and and probably just how to uh, how to charge it up and do things with it. It says you could remove the battery pack as well. So let's get into it. I don't know much about this. Again, we'll have more details if you want to know more in the full product review. So let's take this all out. Uh, there's nothing under here. Uh, so we're going to move the box aside and we're going to bring this in nicely. So this is kind of what you have that comes with it. So it looks like you have the power cable here. This is going to be uh, to charge it. And then this one, it looks like these little 90 degree USB-Cs is probably uh, as they as they demonstrate on the on the box here, that's probably to connect it from the uh, the power bank to your Quest 3. So you have a nice cable for that. It's uh, it seems, you know, a short cable. So we'll see how well that works out. And it looks like we have a USB out. Here, I'm assuming that goes out and to the headset, and then we should have in, it says USB in here, so in would be to charge it. So you're putting power into it, and then you're taking power out of it and into the headset. That should be easy to remember. So yeah, right off the bat, I don't know, I don't want to break anything. Let's look at the uh, user manual really quick. If you guys want to stick around, feel free. You could skip ahead if you want as well. But we're just going to go through this really quick and try to figure out how this works. So it looks like number one, that's the battery lock. So stir the button to release the battery pack. So we need to stir the button. That's the battery lock. Boom. So we stirred the button here, which means just press the button up. Um, and you'll release this little battery pack. And it looks like, let's take a peek here. It looks like it's a, a capacity 5,000 milliamp hours, 3.6 volts, uh, 18 WH. I don't know much about batteries and stuff. Watt hours, is that, is that what that means? And uh, anyway, yeah, I'll let you guys who are smarter than me figure out what that means to you uh, uh, regarding batteries. So to pop it in, you just, boom, it pops in nicely. Let's continue really quick. Number two, we have the USB-C port. Press to know the power status. So this button here, boom, you press it. And then right here, I don't know if you can see those little lights that popped on. Right here, you have two lights. So that should mean it's about 50% charged, right? So power indicator charging, the LED will be flashing, fully charged. You'll have a consistent LED. And uh, that's pretty much it. It seems like that's... That's all that there is to it. We know how to charge things and we know how to remove the battery now. So this is the Zyber neck power bank. If you want to remove some of that weight, let me get my headset. So typically a headset would have a battery on the back of the headset. Now this can be good because it can act as a, uh, a bit of a counterweight, but if you're a little bit more susceptible to having weight on top of your head, you want to alleviate as much weight as you can from the headset so that your head is nice and light and can be easily managed. And that's when the Zyber power bank comes in for your neck because you could just throw this around your neck. It's nice and flexible, right? So easy to get on and it, it 
it gives you more battery without having that weight on the top of your head. So we'll see how it is. Again, stay tuned for more about the Zyber uh, neck power bank. We're going to have a full review here showing everything that I have uh, from Zyber. But uh, yeah, if you want to know more, stay tuned. Feel free to leave this video a like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.